The day has motherfucking come where Ariana Grande flips my ass upside motherfucking down. Who fucking with it? Hey guys, what is up? It's me, Jen here, and welcome back to my video. So today is the day that we are going to be finally reacting to Sweetener together. I am so, so excited for this album. This has been so long due. Dangerous Woman was almost two years. Dangerous Woman was two years ago. Way, bitch, because Dangerous Woman came out in May of 2016, and it is now August 2018. So, bitch, that's two years and a couple of months. Ariana, bitch, where you been? Like, girl, we ready for you. Um, a year and a half, and this time it is two Two years so bitch you know she's in her bag on this album you know miss ariana grande is not about to play with the motherfucking girls okay um it's kind of hot up in here bitch i'm sweating already ariana i have all these emotions that i'm feeling right now i feel nervous i'm excited i'm just so much anxiety because i love ariana so much and i know that she's going to blow me away no matter what but i'm still so nervous every time she releases new music i don't know i get this nervous exciting feeling because it's like i'm watching my big sister fuck it up like ariana you were like a sister to me girl. Like Ariana are you ready Girl I'm not gonna run with too much So bitch play that intro <laughs> intro it is titled raindrops and angel cried and yes i've heard this y'all know i cannot help but listen to this she posted this on her twitter I know there's not much to really analyze about this because she did say in an interview that this was like a cover of something that her and Max did together so she didn't really rework it so she's a cute intro and those vocals girl when Ariana was sitting on those stairs when Ariana first, first posted this us Arianators we literally went crazy over this because sis was in her bag y'all not fucking with her so some of the girls that are on Twitter complaining that Ariana you know is not pop enough for you this album is too R&B it's too for real for you Ariana is trying something different and we should all, you know, go into this being open-minded because, you know, Ariana can't keep making, you know, into yous and bang bangs and one last time and shit like that. Like, she has to grow. She has to evolve as an artist and if you guys don't like it and you're not going to accept her for growing and trying new music, it's like, why are you even a stan? Like, as a stan, as a fan, you should be open to your fate trying new things and I feel like, you know, being an Ariana fan for so long, you know, you kind of... You learn to accept things like you can't always get that pop song that you want. So I'm going to this album open minded and I'm ready, girl. Okay. She's groovy. You better play this motherfucking ass. So, personally, I really like Blaze. It sounds like a Pharrell produced track, and it is, of course. I like the way her voice, you know, goes with the production on this. It's really giving me tropical groove. I like the little ticks. I don't know what you call that production, but she's not gonna let you go. Pete, baby, so don't fuck it up. Pete, get your shit together, cause baby, if you if you try anything with Ariana, I'ma hit her up and I'ma pawn that motherfucking ring, bitch, and pay for my tuition. Shit. 
I don't know if it's just me, but I'm I can really like feel the music like listening to this song R.E.M. I felt like I was in a dream. I was in a motherfucking trance. Ariana had me motherfucking hypnotized, okay girl? R.E.M. What it's meaning to me is that Ariana is so mesmerized by this guy. She's so into this guy that it feels like she's in a dream and she doesn't want to wake up. Like she's just so so motherfucking into him. And it's like, girl, she loves the way he eats it. You know, girl, you nasty, but I'm living. And like she sang all this stuff in this song. And it's like, Ariana, find me a man, bitch, because girl, yes. No, but in all seriousness, like this song. It literally feels like I'm living in it, if that makes any sense. Come on! Wait. Wait. Hold on, let me go back. That was, that was really unexpected. Was it just me or that was unexpected? Cause how, how, wait, alright, how you go from singing all slow? To giving me trap beats, bitch. Bitch, you feel like she's cooking. We put, let's pray, shut up. really represents, you know, Ariana talking about getting rid of the bad taste, the bad vibes, the nasty, bitter taste, and just, you know, cooking up something sweet, like, make it sweet, and that's why this song is titled Sweetener, you know, it's, it really represents what she said in the interview, you know, how this album was about bringing light to, you know, dark situations, and with this song, you can really tell that, because in the lyrics, she's saying that, you know, I hope that other people get to experience what we have. And it's like, girl, Ariana, speak to me, girl. Wish me that love, girl. Make me sweeten a girl. What, bitch? Kool-Aid, what, girl? called cook hoops and this is what this sounds like but she's a bop so don't get don't don't be laughing too much behind that camera Like, it sounds like that song that I'm playing when I'm playing Wii or, like, about to play, like, Kahoot. It just sounds like a video game, and it's not a bad song. Like, I, I, I love the production, but at the same time, I'm kind of like, why does it sound like a fucking video game? But it's still a cute song, but, like, it's really contradicting because it's, I like it, but then it's, like, the beat is just really off-putting to me. Anyways, I love the message behind this song because Ariana is basically talking about how, you know, it's so, like, how she loves to be so young and successful, everything that she's worked for, and then she goes on to say to the girls out there, you are so young and beautiful, you are successful. So, so the next song is Every Time. Mm. Oh, 
Okay, that was cute, but that was so short. Where is the bridge? Girl, hold on. Where is the bridge? Anyways, any motherfucking ways, ho, this song is it. But I'm gonna have to listen to this some more. I'm gonna have to keep replaying this, keep replaying this until this shit gets in my head. Cause I'm, it's like I love it, but I need to hear it more so it can grow on me and it become that song that I just instantly fall in love with. This song, every time Ariana is lyrically talking about, you know, going back to this lover repeatedly over and over, like she's literally going back to him, back to why was it this song? This song honestly should have been titled Back To You because she said back to you more than she said it every time. But girl, nonetheless, she's still a bop. Ariana, I see that you are a girl. You are in your bag, girl, but where is the bridge? But, you know, she's telling herself that she has to keep breathing, you know? Girl, the gangs are gonna eat this up, girl. Ariana. All right. I, I see you. I see you, bitch. I see you. Okay, Ariana. She said, they gonna give me my motherfucking, um... They gonna run me that motherfucking check. Okay. You know I'm the wifey type. Once you taste my ice cream, you will never leave. Girl, what? You got me all on my knee. Okay, are right, you nasty? Taste my motherfucking ice cream, bitch. Girl, she sounds so heavenly too, like right, girl. Come on. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay. Ariana, 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 do not play with me. Don't. What? Girl, you better give me that thought, Bob. Girl, I know that's right, girl. I know was like, um, and I'm not gonna forget to get the girls, you know, a thought, Bob, to fuck it up to so, okay, bitch. Girl, this is gonna be my shit, girl. They better play this in urban clubs. So, you gonna, you gonna taste this, you gonna like this. I'm the wifey type, I'll be on my knees for you. But, you gonna have to meet me halfway, cause nigga, what? Girl, I know that's right, man. You better let his ass know. Pete, shit, meet her at the motherfucking borderline, fuck. So long leg ass. Yeah. Oh my fucking the production. Oh my god. Did she just say fuck on the roof? She said let's fuck on the roof, bitch. You nasty. 
You nasty bitch. Mm. Yes. Mm. This lower register, bitch. I'm gonna do Girl, when she said let's fuck on the roof, I knew that this this is the top three on the top, the Holy Trinity. <laughs> but better off and breathing, they are in my Trinity so far, girl. Do Ariana, what? It sounds like a dream. Like it just sounds so beautiful. It sounds so Ariana. Like I can't see anyone else singing this song but her. Like it's it's her. This screams Ariana. Like this is her. Of course it's her, but bitch, it's it's her. You know. Okay. Mm. Yes. This sounds so fucking beautiful, like. You sound heavenly, baby. Mm. I'm so fucking proud of her, like... Oh my god. I feel like I'm in heaven, bitch. She's like an angel is singing to me. This is so cute. Like, I can't believe I actually like it. I didn't want it to end. So, this little interlude was cute. How she was talking about Pete. Oh my god. It was cute. Like, I, I, I like it. Like, I wish that it were longer. I can't believe that I'm saying that. Okay, Ariana. Anyway, the final and last song, which I'm really, 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 really excited for, is Get Well Soon. Manchester and it was like to um, 
you know, for the victims of Manchester. So if that's true, then that's just so beautiful. This song is so beautiful. Like it's had so many different renditions. Like it felt like it was going, repeating over and over, doing all these different things. It's simply amazing. Miss Ariana Grande, Sweetener. You did that, girl. This is an album, and girl, I'm so proud of you. I love you so much, girl. And yes, um, so if I'm being honest, this album does, honestly, to me, in my honest opinion, have some career highlights from Breathing to No Tears Left to Cry to God is a Woman, especially Breathing. Like, I feel like Breathing is going to be the next single because Breathing is just, it's so strong and it's so fresh. Like, it sounds like, like, make it a single, girl. I wouldn't also be surprised if Borderline doesn't become a single because I can really hear that popping off on Urban. I feel like there's kind of like a clash with this album. I don't know if it's just me, but it feels like it has like this modern trap pop sound. And then you have like, this Pharrell, his tracks that are like really experimental. And when you put them together, it's like, they, it's it's meshing well, but at the same time, it's like, it's just, it's, it's clashing and it's kind of like, you hear like this pop side and then you hear, you know, these Pharrell songs. And it may just be the way that the track list is aligned and I'm going to go back and fix my track list, girl, because Ariana, not for nothing, girl, I love you, but girl, your track list there is always like all over the place. So like, I'm gonna fix mine, of course. But I feel like an experimental side where she's trying new things and she did that, girl, she's in her back. And then, you know, you have this modern pop sound and this is gonna take a couple of listens to grow on me because right now where I'm standing girl I don't know like I because I have to listen like when when you hear an album on the first listen you're going in with so many ex expectations that's why I feel like you know you should wait until like the third or fourth listen until you really say what's your favorite Ariana Grande album so for now I can't tell y'all what's like if this is better than her um, other albums because if I did then I would just be saying it out of excitement so girl I don't know just yet holla back at me in three or four weeks follow me on Twitter and then y'all will know girl I don't know like it's so different and I'm so proud of her for experimenting so just for her experimenting it makes me love it even more because Ariana is trying something new so I fucking love this album I'm living for it girl and Ariana I'm so fucking proud of you bitch now before we end this video girl let's hop into my top five Just Thank you guys so much for watching this. Oh my god, my camera is dying, guys. So, what did I say? Ariana Grande, you are so beautiful, girl. Sweetener, you're, girl, you fucked it up, girl. What's, uh, Ariana, what? Sweetener, she fucked it up, you guys. Anyways, I'm not gonna argue too much. You guys should comment down below. What are your top five favorite tracks from this album and why? What are you thinking of it? Let's start a whole discussion in the comments down below. Remember, you guys, not to be too hard on the album on your first listen. Listen to it a couple of times and then, you know, kind of like, you know, you know, like, don't be so hard on it. Like, give it a chance because remember that this is Ariana trying new things, okay? Bye, I love you guys. Purchase your tracks today.